Hello, I'm Sharon Curtis from Sizzix and today I'm going to be explaining a little bit about big styes. Sizzix big styes are quite unique. They have within them a metal rule blade which gives you the ability to cut through much thicker materials than you can with the traditional wafer thin dies. Um, I've got a couple here. Um, they do come in different sizes. These are the kind of standard size um, big dies, but you, you do get different versions, um, some of which you can only use in the Sizzix Plus machine. They're kind of A4 size dies. Uh, but these are what I would call the kind of traditional size big dies. And I've got two here, and we're going to make a couple of projects so that I can explain to you the special features of the big dies and, and what we can do with them. So I've got two projects to share with you. Um, we're going to be making, um, first of all, we're going to be cutting felt with our big styes and we're going to make this fabulous uh, home decor piece using a sloth die. Um, so we're going to make that one first and then I've also got um, this really cute rabbit die and we're going to be using chipboard for this because the beauty of the bigs is you can cut through materials, felt, um, fabrics, chipboard, meltboard, metal sheet, uh, leather, all kinds of things. The guideline we use is that if you can cut it with a sharp pair of scissors you can cut with a big so that's kind of gives you an idea of how, my, how many different things you can do with these dies. Right so I've got my big style ready and this is the gorgeous sloth which is my favourite and I've got a selection of felt here so that I can paper piece him together or paper piece felt piece him together to create this nice frame tone decor piece. So I've got a selection of, of felt here because I want a variety of colours that are going to give me a kind of good, good selection. So first of all I'm going to cut that lovely uh, branch. Now the good thing with the bigs is you don't have to cut all of it at once um, so you can use up your scraps for this. I only need to cut a piece of felt that's going to cover that branch. I don't need to cover the whole die so I'll just pop that on there and run that through and that gives me my branch. So I'll go through with that and it's really simple then to just piece it all together. You can see how easily you can cut through. Now with a big, you probably with felt could cut a couple of layers at a time actually because it's not amazingly thick um, but have a play you know just experiment because um, you know sometimes to save time you can probably get, get away with cutting a couple of layers. So that's our branch. Now somewhere under here I've got my piece of green card, I'll find that in a second that we're actually going to layer all these onto. And I'm going to do the leaves, I always do leaves from a couple of colours just to give a bit of variety. So I've got two shades of green, so we'll do, and actually let's try and do a couple of layers at once. As I was saying you can probably cut through a couple, let's put that to the test. So we'll use a light and a dark. And we'll go through those and it all will start to come together then. So let's run that on through. Makes a lovely satisfying sound as it goes through. So that's my two leaves. It's cut through two layers without any issue. And I need one more because I like to do things in threes because in my mind that just looks a bit neater. And it's got a bit more of a kind of good feel to it to have three. So one more. There we go. So we've got three leaves and we've got our branch. Let's start on the sloth himself. So I've got some different shades of brown here and we'll go with this kind of mid-brown I would call this for his body and again you don't have to cover your whole die because why waste your felt you might as well just um, only cut what you need. I know most crafters are quite frugal so snip round so you've got a piece of felt that just fits what you need. So like so on through. and you can see really with these dies that they're, they're very quick and easy to use. There we go. So that's our body. Now 
he doesn't look like much so far does he but once we start layering up all the elements he'll come to life a bit so his face i'm going to do pink i've got this lovely pale pink i think this is actually um some of the sizzix felt i've got here only cut a piece of felt for for what you need really because you don't need to cut the whole die in one go we just need this face area here which you can see um it I know it's black on black, but when you're looking at it above, you can actually see where, where each element is. And I just want this oval here, which is his lovely round face. So I'm just gonna place my pink piece on there and run that through. Right, so we can run that through. And we've got his lovely little pink face. This uh, sloth die really is one of my favorites from this release. I really want to make um, some cushions with him on. So we can lay him there. And now he's kind of starting to take shape, I'm gonna grab my background piece. What I've done is I've grabbed, um, I've cut a piece of green cardstock. This fits exactly in the frame that I want to use um, so that I've got somewhere to stick him to really. I've gone for green just because I thought it was a nice background color and sets off with the brown. Um, and also it goes with the colour scheme of the room I'm going to put this in, which of course is very important when you're making things for your home. You've got to think of where you're going to actually put them. Now with felt, I find uh, Cosmic Shimmer Glue is pretty good for, it, for sticking it down. And I can just lay this out. Now I'm bearing in mind that because this is going to go in a frame, I need a little gap at the top because the frame will kind of overlap a little, but I also want to put relax at the bottom. So I've, I've kind of got to think of framing it really and, and where to place it. So I'm going to stick him down now before I put the leaves on and then we can start to put the rest of the elements on. So now I'll add his face. Now, I, this is a home decor project and actually before I worked for Sizzix I really was just a card maker, well just a card maker, solely a card maker and it, I never really thought to do home projects and it was only when I started working with big dies a lot that it kind of opened that up to me and since then whenever I get new dies I'm always thinking of oh what can I make for the house with this and what other things can I do with it like journaling and other projects so do think of that when you're getting new dies. Don't just think of the cards you want to make. Think of what other projects you can do because so many of these big dies in particular lend themselves really well to home decor projects. So we've got his face on and I'm going to add my leaves on now. And I've got one light green and two darker greens. So I think we'll place that one there. And then we'll scatter these like so. And of course you could do him in any colours you want. I've I've kind of stuck with a brown, but you know, it's it's not a real sloth, so if you want to have one in purple or something because it, it suits whoever you're making it for, you know, feel free to play around and, and come up with your own ideas for it. So now I've got his face there, we need his those little um beige areas where his eyes are. And we need two of those and of course as I explained before this will go through two layers of felt and you can see here where that piece is um, and you can fold it over and put it over here it is here and what I'm going to do is I've got my piece of beige felt I'm just going to fold it in two place it over that area and that means I can cut two of them in one go which is going to save me time so pop that on there usual sandwich and this will give us both of the little eye area that we need. And then after this, we just need a nose and we're all done with the sloth, which uh, you can see it's really quite quick to make these sort of projects. So we've got one there and these just sit on like so. And here's the other one. And you can see it's cut through those two layers without any problem. Depending on the thickness of the felt, you know, you could probably get away with up to four, but have a play around once you've got once you've got your dies and your felt because felt does come in different thicknesses um this is a fairly i'd say mid weight but you know some of the felt you get quite thick wool felt you might only get away with one or two layers so again i just need a small piece 
and I'll pop that on his nose and you can see the little triangle here that's his nose so we'll just pop that tiny piece on and we're ready to run that through. Now the machine I'm using today is the standard size Big Shot and that's fine for this size of, of Bigs. As I mentioned at the beginning, the big dies do come in different sizes. Um, for the thickness of the Bigs, um, you do need a machine that has a wide opening. Um, the Sizzix Big Shot Standard and Plus, the Sizzix Fold Away, the Sizzix Vagabond, you're fine with all of those. Spellbinders Platinum Machine's fine again with the Bigs. Cuttlebug, I think the opening's fine. Um, obviously some of the, the sizes might, might not work with the Cuttlebug because it's a relatively small machine, but I think for these standard ones you're fine. Check on the websites and it'll give you all the details. But certainly if you're using the Sizzix machines, the Bigs will go, go through those. And so we've got our little nose and that goes like so. So I just need to glue these down. And we're almost there with our sloth. Uh, I'll just pop those plates out of the way for a second. And we'll attach these last elements. Very cute, this. There we go. And you'll notice on my finished sample that he's got little closed eyes. And all I did for that was just use a black pen and let me find my pen, here it is, and I simply just drew a little semicircle, like so, for his little sleepy eyes. Now I want to add relax underneath, you could, you could add anything, I thought relax worked quite well, but think of all the puns that you could, you could make up for a sloth. Something about taking it easy or something along those lines I think would work really well. Now the dies I'm going to use just to quickly cut the lettering are the Pop Art Uppercase Alpha Set which is also in the Chapter 1 Sizzix release. Because these are thin dies I've brought back my platform and I want the word relax and I've got some grey card here. This is great for using up your scraps of card. So we want R E L A X. And I'll run that through. Right, so again, I'm just going to use Cosmic Shimmer Glue to attach these. to grab my handy tweezers to pick them up. I'm going to follow the curve of his body. Now when you're putting letters on, I find it easy, the easiest thing so that they look even is to kind of start in the middle. So the L would be halfway through my relax. So what I'm going to do is make sure that the L is my kind of centre point and then I can just work from there. That's a handy tip, otherwise you might end up with it kind of finishing off centre. So I'm just going to grab my glue and we're going to start with the L. A couple of dots of glue, you don't need tons. Pop that there. And then you can do the rest in any order really, but I kind of work, work my way out. So, I think this um, this would look lovely in a child's bedroom. There we go. And the font on this, I think it works really well with this sloth because it's quite a simple font. You don't want anything fussy, really. You want the you want your focus to be on that cute sloth. And I think I've just got my X now to stick down. If you do get any glue seeping out, don't worry because once it dries it will be clear and you won't see it. There we go. That is my home decor piece done. All I need to do now is pop that in a frame and pop it on the wall. So now we've done our lovely sloth, let's have a look at another way to use a big sty. And we're going to cut some thick chipboard. 
I've got a sheet here of grey board and what I've done is I've added an adhesive sheet to it so that I can put whatever coloured pattern paper on it I want to. So I've got that ready to go and I'll show you the finished project that we're aiming for. This is what we're going to make and it's this cute cottontail rabbit which is a Tim Holtz die and because I've used chipboard you can see he's really got some thick dimension. Now I've made a card with this but of course because this is chipboard it's really durable you could also make a home decor piece with this. You could Instead of a card you could use a wooden plaque or you could frame it. So don't just think of card making with these bigs because having the ability to cut from this thick chipboard does mean that this could be used for other things other than a card. But it certainly makes a really cute new baby card I think. So to start with I'm going to attach, I've printed out, these are digi papers actually, and I've just printed out a grey polka dot and I'm going to put that onto my chipboard. Now I could use some material if I wanted to, um, this grey board would give it stability so if you had some nice fabric and you wanted to, to make your rabbit from fabric you could certainly do that as well. Um, the bigs will have no trouble cutting through this, this grey board and a layer of fabric so bear that in mind, that's another option for this. So we pop that on, one th other thing to mention with the big dies, when you're using a pattern paper or fabrics you want to be placing the pattern side facing down into the die because that will be the front. So bear that in mind. And we'll run that through. Again, you just need the two clear cutting plates. You don't need the platform. Run that through. Here we go. And look at that beautiful bunny and he's so substantial so we'll pop him there now I want to have the bow blue but I don't really need to use my expensive well it's not really expensive but uh, I know how frugal we all are I don't need to use my grey board for that because what I can do is just use a scrap of the blue and just cut out the bow piece so what I'll do is just cut a small piece of this because that's all I need and place it on top of the bow and run that through. Again, I've put the pattern face down onto the die. Like so. And there's my blue bow. And we can put this onto the card. Now I've got some distress in. in this is frayed burlap because I find it adds a bit of dimension if you ink up the edges before you put, put them on and makes them stand out a bit from the card. It also emphasises that dimension it's got and covers a little bit the kind of grey edges that you've got from the chipboard. So we'll go all the way around like so. Grab my glue. This is a lovely kind of silhouette, this die. It does look lovely just from a simple dark cardstock as well. So we'll pop him on. And I should explain what I did for the card actually, just so that you can do this. Um, I've just stamped a greeting with clear Versamark ink and heat embossed it with white embossing powder. This is just craft card and all I've done is go around the edge with a white gel pen to create some faux stitching. It's something I like to do on my cards. So I've got my bow and I'm just going to put the blue polka dot card on top of that because it gives it that dimension then. And I'll do the same with the edges, a bit of brown around the edge. And of course you could add even more layers to this if you wanted to. You could add, maybe it would look nice with a sort of bead in the middle of the bow or something. There we go, so that's our bunny done. And for a final detail, I'm going to give him a little eye. You could use a black gel pen for this, but I had um, just some flat back black pearls that I thought would be ideal for that. So you could also, for a bit of fun, use a googly eye actually. That would look really good. And there we go, there's our finished card. You can see how professional it looks with that chipboard. It really gives it some extra dimension. And this would look beautiful framed as well, but uh, I think for a new baby, this would be a lovely card to give someone. 
I hope that's given you some ideas of what to do with your big styes and I hope like me it's encouraged you to think a little bit further beyond card making and maybe think up some home decor projects. Personally I'm quite scared of fabric, I can't sew. So using bigs and being able to use um, iron on adhesive things like that and cheat a little with, with some um, soft furnishings has really opened up a lot of possibilities for me. So hopefully I've given you some ideas too. If you'd like to see some more inspiration and the chapter one dies I've used then head over to the Craftstash website which is craftstash.co.uk.